Wolves is back again for episode 29, guys. 29. We're almost at 30. I'm so surprised. Right now, Axel is sharing on social media, and he will be just with us shortly, but I'm just going to do a quick intro, and then we're going to get into some Defenders discussion. Wow. I mean, I'm so excited for that. Uh... Some things going on this week and kind of the Geekverse as a whole. Sonic Mania was super, super dope. Um, I couldn't help but to get that one. Picked that one up on Wednesday. Yep, for 20 bucks. Picked it up on my Switch and my PS4 because I wanted to do screen capture. And it was actually such a good game, guys. Like, I'm really enjoying these new stages that are kind of like old stages but like revamped in a fresh new take. Um, the third, there's like a third stage in the game the third stage in the game is super super good super good it's like almost a, a copy of the casino level in sonic adventure 2 or excuse me sonic the hedgehog 2 um but in a new way it was called it's called studioopolis and it's just a flawless level through and through great music great new looks sonic mania is a must get guys there's also a new Obi-Wan Kenobi movie that got reported. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that today. The Hollywood Reporter reported that the new Obi-Wan Kenobi movie is in the works. Possibly. I mean, my thing about some of these news sources, guys, we gotta have validation from the actual directors. We gotta have a tweet, a YouTube video, audio, something just to prove. But right now, it's heavily reported, so it may come to fruition in the future, guys. Be on the lookout, because Obi-Wan Kenobi might get a standalone. And some people joke around and say that uh, it's just going to be lighthearted and him in the library. I don't think so. I think Obi-Wan Kenobi deserves the pass that he got in the comics, so hopefully they'll go that way. And also, Defenders, what we're about to get into, guys had the strangest thing happen to it just like all the other ones people see the very first half and i'm talking critics here they see the very first half of the series and they're like okay this is like 50 50 blah 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 i think there are three to four episodes in and then once the full series comes out the reviews skyrocket they're like wow this is such a good series it unfolds in such a great way it's crazy how much it changes but anyway guys Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Axel, if you'll come join me, my friend, we'll get into this Defenders discussion. Oh boy. I'm back, and I'm better than ever, kind of. What's up? Man, it's good to be back. I know. It's, it's, it's so good. good to be back. It's good to be talking about Defenders. We've Absolutely. been waiting so long for this. Basically, since they mentioned the 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 coming of, I think it was Jessica Jones second, right? Mm, yeah. I mean, ever I've since been Jessica for Jones, a while. they've been talking about this crossover, mm -hmm. and that is when is that? When when did Jessica Jones drop? Uh, 2012, 13? 15, Wow. <laughs> yeah. Which actually not as long. They're moving really quick, actually. So, but that's still two years, guys. So two years in the making as far as just the idea of the Defenders, let alone the building of the Marvel Cinematic, not Cinematic Netflix universe through Daredevil, which is earlier. Uh, it's culminating in such a beautiful way, Isn't and it? I, I oh. literally just watched all of them except for Daredevil season one. We just talked about this, and man, I gotta say, even like like. It, it's funny, like, how you talk about the first four episodes and then, you know, the critics were too quick. Because, you know, going back through, you see good and bad things. And so, like, I saw, like, going back through Iron Fist, I feel like it was, like, better the first time I watched it. Absolutely. The second time I went through Iron Fist, I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to sit through this another time. It's It's definitely less intriguing and less... Whereas, like, Luke Cage, it almost never feels like I'm at a bad spot mm -hmm. uh, there are certain spots where it kind of like dips where you're like oh I've seen it okay, now I've got it out. but it really does keep good action all the way through exactly Daredevil season 2 best comic book adaption to you know <laughs> to this to day I mean we day. definitely agree on that one because it just he's he's in the suit guys the Punisher's in it I just there's everything. I can't speak highly enough of that one and I'm definitely going to be re-watching that right before Defender so I'll probably be re-watching that starting tonight Awesome. Um, definitely trying to get awesome. that one. I even went back to and watched Jessica Jones. Two and you know what? Okay, I watched Jessica Jones recently a second time, and it wasn't that bad. 
it is better the second time it through. is much better and and to be fair and we've talked about this the second half of Jessica Jones is actually pretty decent yeah it's powerful it's it's evocative it's you know there's a lot of cool stuff going on mm-hmm you What's up, Izzy? Like Luke Cage. Hey, Izzy. Good to see you, man. Yo, bro. But yes, I mean, Jessica Jones, it just oh. was a lot more intriguing the second time around. Definitely was, more intriguing the second time. I was, I was feeling myself a lot more in tune with her because people started pointing out certain things, like how this is kind of the life that she, she lives for certain reasons and purposes. I know I'm kind of beating around the bush here, but I'm really don't want to spoil in case somebody yeah, no has spoilers. Is, hasn't seen these things, but hey. hey Izzy, I'm wondering where, oh, and we also have two, also Lexi I didn't see joined earlier, but there she is <laughs> what's up, and Mikey's here, Mikey, what's up Mikey good to see you guys tonight hey. oh yes, a night full of defenders, all yes. guys feel free to jump in the conversation at any oh, moment guys, Please, we're do. all talking hey, together, oh, Mikey. what's up so, which was you guys' favorite? I think that should be the overarching question for tonight. I mean, which series was your favorite, guys? Yeah, we've all we've all we've had this discussion several times, but it's never a bad one to have. Never. And I and now that more people are seeing them, and actually, I think Mikey still needs to go through a lot of the Defenders universe. Uh, and I really want him to because it's really good. I don't know what what's postponing him. I think he's having trouble on one of the series or something. Maybe oh. not. I don't know. It might also just be hasn't gone to it yet. There's a million series. Right. You know what do you mean? Uh, just... It's a lot. But the best thing about these series is like most of them are ten episodes, so they're nice and yeah, digestible. 10 13. Honestly, 10 like 13. Jessica Jones. That's good to good to hear. Inter like I said, I like it a lot better the same time through. I was not a My fan second the first round time. Was better. Uh, it was just it was very much the problem. I guess the critics had it was very hard for me to get in. Honestly, I'm clueless here. Oh no! Oh Mike. no! You need to go watch all those. Yeah, go binge them. It. You can literally do it in like three days, probably. Netflix, dude. Seriously, I, I mean, like I said, I did. I think hours. I did. I did Luke Cage. Forty, excuse me, maybe a little fifty-ish, but still, it's three just a couple seasons. seasons. Yeah, and so you can get into that anytime. Uh, but definitely check it out when you get the chance. I I really like the universe. Daredevils, where you start, then. You do I forget Jessica, Jessica Jones, Jones Daredevil Luke Cage, season. Then, oh yeah, Daredevil season two. Excuse me, Luke Cage, then Iron Fist. Yep, they did a lot of Daredevil got some hype. I'm kidding, but I do like that now they're doing Jessica Jones and Luke Cage season two filming, with rumors of Daredevil season three filming, which I'm all for because the thing about these characters they're so oh, huge and there's Daredevil yeah. season three rumors. Still the only one I've watched I think is Daredevil, which is good. I still need to finish Luke Cage and Daredevil season two. Oh man, you really Those do. are two of the best ones. In like literally opinion. in that or uh, in a reverse order, Daredevil season 2 being the best and then Luke Cage being the second. Like absolutely great series. Very Luke good. Cage really hits on, you know, urban culture, hits the nail on the head with that. Hits na hit nail on the head with the urban um themes that we have in there as well. The music, the settings, the vibe, the oh. way the episode move even. Definitely. Like I said, I, I watched the whole thing. Just... I think Mikey actually had to watch it halfway in the background with me because I was just on call and having it there. Like, oh dang! I really was digging it though. Well, the only thing, is some, of, some of the villains are just outstanding, and then you have a few that are like, mm -hmm. uh, now that's Marvel though. There is, <laughs> and and like I said, going through the second times, like I found less faults with kind of some of those things. At, after further de kind of deeper analysis and kind of like paying more attention to the side stuff for example Mariah Dillard but we won't go too deep yeah there you but, go but she had a lot of development that's kind of sidebar that does kind of give more fluidity to the story yeah I hear what you're saying man I mean it definitely it definitely gives the story the much needed details that it that it needs especially in Iron Fist that's the family for me oh yeah what's her last name I just Ran hmm? the other family, right? Yeah, the Meachams. The, the Meachams. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry, Meachams. What's hey, up, Kevin? Kevin. Good Thanks to see you, joining. man. We're talking about Defenders tonight. But the Meachams, they made Iron Fist for me. I don't know about you guys. But I really did like the Meachams. Uh, I love the and like I said, there were, there. like, and the thing is, and that was the problem with, even though Iron Fist was at its core good mm -hmm. and good in several areas, there were, like, the issues people pointed out, is such as some of the lack of. Acting precision, some play like I said. Yeah, going through the, the there's the one choreography. Like, oh yeah, not, maybe not him, 
but like some of the other ones. Evelyn, nope. Um, there was a couple. Scenes. There was a couple scenes that were just, were just not terribly Corey. Yeah, it's just not very fun to watch. You know what I mean on some of them. No, like you, you, we enjoy seeing Luke Cage pick up a guy and punch people and just walk through bullets like they're nothing. This felt like I like Danny's fighting style. It was graceful and kind of kind Hi, of William mellow. Melvin, what's up? Thanks for joining the conversation. Iron Fist Season 2 will rock, I hope. I really hope it does. So. I hope they go into more action a little bit and development for Kun Lun because that's where a lot of Danny's in, like motivation and like power struggle come from is from Kun Lun because he's not really tied to New York that much. Like the Meacham is no. where his big tie. Exactly. I mean, that's the best thing about Iron Fist, I think, is hey. just kind of... I like how the plot moves. I know a lot of people are like, eh, but like if the fighting was a little bit better, some of the action was a little heavier. I felt like it was kind of weak. Nothing was really happening. And like I said, there was a couple scenes where the acting broke through uh, for like the British actor specifically yeah. who played Danny. Yeah. Broke. And it's hard, but you know, that I've There's noticed. a couple of like, like too much. quips. It's like, oh, you're well, kind of still not, speaking yeah. in the English accent. What do you guys think on the new Black Panther movie? Oh, yes. So cannot we can't wait. wait. Black Panther movie is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see what they do with Wakanda and like show it. Because the thing is, and I'm hoping they display it accurately, is Wakanda is supposed to be the most advanced nation in the world. Hands yep, down. There's, there's like in Marvel no Comics, else. America is like. Every, then there's like. Especially Latin in area. comparison to Wakanda. Yeah, there's like. It basically goes Wakanda. Maybe. Yeah, Wakanda. Then you got either Atlantis or Latveria. One of the two. I put my, my vote on Atlantis. I like Atlantis, and the thing, and here's the reason I put Atlantis above Laveria is because Laveria is doom centralized. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah. Like not to say he doesn't. It's not okay to live there. And nice, but Doom is the advanced one in the country. The country itself. So then the country scary. itself is not. Same, nope. huh? Yeah, awesome. Nice. We're we're hella glad. We can't wait. I kind of like Danny having a flow kind of style. Iron Fist reminds me of a graceful fighter. Agreed. Exactly. I like that. I like I that also, graceful, and then I also, easy touch and fighting. I also liked how they displayed Danny though, because Danny, as the Iron Fist, is kind of different in the fact that he's not that calm, collected martial artist all the time. Like he is when he hit, but once Danny loses control. Like that rage burns in his heart, yep. and then he's like, then he's the he's dragon like slayer. Leash. He's the one who defeated Shao Lao the Undying. And, and I'm hoping in season two we get a piece of that. Can we like, please, please see more than him walking out of a cave? <laughs> that was BS. That's it's such not teasing. even a spoiler with how minor it is. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, like, like I want to see cave, him man. going in the cave and doing the thing. I like I Danny like to take down Cage. I really do because that's really Danny's p job as a character is to be able to fight Cage. Yeah. I mean, he, there has to be somebody to match Luke Cage. The yeah, problem is, he's bulletproof. His skin is like iron. Like, a yeah. lot of people cannot touch this guy with their fucking pinky. Danny, somebody who's, like, smaller, scrawny, well, thinner oh, scale, yeah. it provides a good contrast for them to be, you know, rivals but best friends at the same time. They're Definitely. such good friends. That's Ultimate Issue 100. Oh, though, for sure, mind. though. I like how they made it across. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was so awesome. Especially, oh man, the scene you, you, the, you, you've you read it, right? Yeah, absolutely. The, the scene with Hulk and Blue Marvel, yes, that's the greatest scene it's ever. Like, dude, not too no many spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> it's so great, though, man. Like, oh, oh man, I just love Blue Marvel, period. I'm like, he's so he was so underused for the longest. Now, I feel like luckily the Ultimates has gotten so popular that they're starting to use him a lot more as a character, yes. He's Still doesn't have his own line or anything, but as far as I know, but uh, he, not anymore. He yeah. had one for a while, but not at me. this point. The thing is, in the problem with him and other characters like Spectrum and even Miss Marvel two point, but she has to have one. Is they're very very powerful and it's hard to put them in, in situations yeah, that and, would hinder them. Yep, and then contextually in situations that matter to the universe. You know what I mean? It's like they work at such a large scale that Earth is just like this dot. It's like, ah, oh, what? Right. It's like, at this point, you're going to need them with some of these big cosmic... Oh, uh, I'm really excited they have this concept for Squirrel Girl. No! I hate this show coming up because Squirrel Girl is in it! 
Oh man, I don't, I'm this not gonna. Is, watch I'm sorry, it. William. I'm sorry. William. That's the sorry. only one we're gonna have to. Dis- I will watch the show. She's not gonna. Re- awesome, man. Anymore. I'm not watching. Like it's cool. Hopefully they do a good job. I don't like the character until they give her some reality probability warping powers. I'm thinking I'm it calling. has to be some kind of probability manipulation because there's no way she can beat both Wolverine and Thanos off panel, mind you. It's not been revealed, so it has to be some kind of like probability, like oh, I can manipulate the probability of me beating. Wolverine, or maybe like a fourth. I would, I would even take the Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe fourth wall excuse. Exactly. Which have you checked out the Deadpool? Not uh, the newest. The, yeah, the new one is. I have not checked out the new one, but check it out. They're guessing like, it's at, amazing. It's pretty good. It it's half and half when amazing because it's a lot more believable. That's nice. I but, mean, I, I wanted that. But this once again, the flow is not in the. It's not such a great storytelling experience, oh, just like the other one. Okay. It's kind of that. It's kind of one of those shots in like, it's one of those ex- thought experiments in like how could Deadpool kill the Marvel universe? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's this, like chopping it back and forth. A little bit. This one's a little more believable though. And then they added a new component on the last one, which was cool. So it should be great. I hear they stopped production of Deadpool two for the Sun Driver passing. They did. They Wolverine. did. Uh, actually, it just restarted. They did. Yesterday. Yeah, and and that's. You know, it's it's uh, customary to take a day first. Don't uh, drive death a or death. Crew, honestly any crew member death. Yeah. But you know what's crazy is like, okay, so that Obsessions. person died and they continue, but um, Tom Cruise hurts himself on the set of Mission Impossible Six in three, like six months, three to six months is their halt halt time. But I know the main actor is the one that got hurt, so that's why they're stopping it. Oh. But he didn't even get a major injury. See, and that's more on the, the 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 him than the studio thing. Like, if he's not willing to come in for the injury, then the studio is kind of either got to take him to court, which they're not. It's not going to win, or just sit back and let it be. Because do you think he just wants a check at this point? I mean, like, let's think about it. Mission Impossible Six. My thing is, do they even need him at this point? Can't they just graphically render him in for the same price anymore? If, if that, I mean, it's like, you, he could even have a cameo. Like, we can move on to new characters. Cruz broke his ankle. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's not okay. that minor. I, I, especially I didn't for know the, it was an ankle es- break. Especially for the sum of the scenes. He'd have to do, like, m- the heavy intensity stunt scenes are done by stunt people, but a lot of the minor stunt scenes are kind of done by them. I mean, he and, he and even he's known for doing his own stunts. Less now than before. Right, I mean, he's getting older. Yeah. What do you think of Domino being black? I'm, I think it's great. I'm honestly... Yeah, I don't I don't really care at all. Like it, I want to see the depiction. I want to see how she plays Domino. She looked in the picture like she was giving off a Domino attitude. You know what I mean? Definitely. As a, as a blur, though, like I'm definitely cool to see a black person oh, shift I'm into sure. a white character. Like, fuck yeah. And or, excuse I, me, reverse. A white character turn into a black person that's like, awesome to me like i love that and even if it's like it, to be honest even if it's like asian white white age i like to see different depictions i want a fresh I do. take i'm not afraid of any fresh takes and because some of them can end up so well for example samuel jackson's nick fury oh, for example you know amazing. what I mean? name name a million other examples of this happening where someone i mean there's you do not have to 100% match the source material. Nope. I mean, you can even look at Justice League, and this is a loose comparison, but you could say once the cartoon came on, that's when they put Jon Stewart in the light. Like, he hadn't really been that heavy of a character in the comics before. I mean, he had his days, but he was very heavily featured in that Justice League animated cartoon. Definitely. And uh, there's there's tons of times where they've dove, done small things like that or big things. And it's, well, my big what was the other one? Hugh Jackman. Their their biggest complaint: he's too tall to play Wolverine. Another big <laughs> physical feature. Uh, it, it it was fine. He was fine. And uh, like I said, if you know Domino's past had something heavily to do with her being white or Asian or some specific al- whatever, like for example, characters like. Uh, Sunfire, who have very specific racial country tied backgrounds, maybe I could see someone getting upset. But she doesn't. She doesn't have barely any backstory as mm-hmm. it is. So what's the problem with switching? Why it, Why can it not just be a new take? And see, here's my thing, man. You, you know, you talk about that and the first thing that comes to my mind is the, all the bash that Finn Jones got for playing Danny. 
I'm like, but, are you right, serious? And it has, it's the same thing. It's like you're just right, and now you're just stepping on the lines. Like you, you, you don't care anymore that it's whether or not it's actually offensive or whether or not someone's actually being hurt or demoralized or if some lines actually even being crossed. You just need something to fight your battle for you to be your poster image. And we and, go off a little bit on that. And but, then uh, here's the thing. I'll break it down. Oh, God, we'll we'll go right to the comments. Here's my thing, guys. Danny, it, the, the thing is, okay, if you did have an Asian character as Danny, let's theoretically paint this up. He comes from an Asian wealthy family. If he gets dropped into a place heavily influenced by Asian culture, I'm not saying, you know, and I'm not making assumptions, but I'm just saying, it wouldn't be as significant because... Danny is kind of like the outsider in almost every way. He's a rich, white guy. He has no no clue what the fuck Kun Lun is oh, or yeah. where it's been. And it's and, a huge part of just, what drives him as a yeah. character. Like I said, the, but that's not the case with Domino's. So I don't think so. We're, we'll go to the comments. Sorry, we, we got off in a little bit of a tangent. I don't see there being any issue, William says. I just want to see Domino. Agreed. Uh, Izzy says he just finds it funny all the backlash coming to it. There's always backlash, always. just like the just like the people having problem with the all woman screening of Wonder Woman. And when Nick Fury came out when he was black, they're pissed. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and his she white. I've I've seen some nerds saying Leafly made, made her Asian, Asian, which I think she is Asian, by the way. But who's that? Domino. Oh, gotcha. Like I said, I don't even know if she is. Like I said, she's uh, technically, uh, she would... I mean, yeah, it's I don't know. been revealed. Yeah, I don't... She might have at some point, but I, it's not even that big of a thing. We what have Hasselhoff as Fury, and now we've got Jackson. No big deal. Exactly, Kevin. Whatever happened to Aquaman. Aquaman. We'll see how that's going. I hope it's coming through. I like Jason Momoa's Aquaman, even though it's a real big character so change. the movie. Well, the thing... The reason I like it is... Jason Momoa's Aquaman is the Aquaman from the 90s, which is also the Aquaman from Justice League. With the long hair. Right, which is the Aquaman that that got betrayed, Mm -hmm. got his hand cut off. I mean, this all happened in the comics at one point. Yep, had the core silk, gold hook. And he just turned into a badass because he had to be more ruthless to keep his kingdom in check. He had like he had rebellions going on. He he they wanted him to attack the surface. There's all kinds of stuff. I just it might not even be that one, and, and that's then, why I'm just like right. heartbroken. Well, they do have a black Nick Fury in comics. They even designed him after Samuel. Yes, now the new Nick Fury from the Ultimates comics mm-hmm. is designed after designed after him. After him. And it's a great awesome. Nick Fury. He's the new Nick Fury in Marvel now. Yeah, since we lost the old Nick Fury in 2010. Boom! Shout out. Put him right in. <laughs> Shout outs to to uh, Original Sin. Go read that. Oh God. Trippy is all. Finally, finally, so much later, learned what happened with Thor. Oh my God! It took so oh, long. Oh wow! That was a headache. It was a good. <laughs> it was a good reveal though. But it did not. It did not. Like the, the theories being tossed around, but the fact that they were just like, nope, actually it's just this very powerful reason, which right. seemed so minimal at first. Like you think well, about it, makes, it's like, the eh. thing is, and that's the other thing is they didn't change any continuity of it because there was a whole thing about, well, if this or this that took down Thor, then Nick Fury was wrong. It wasn't just words, but it really was just words because Nick Fury does say that he says, "I want you to remember." It, it was, was just yeah. dialogue and. People were like, well, did he give Jane cancer? That was what? a good reveal, yes. Yeah, which would also be bad. That's Which is, I find so funny that they did that whole cancer reveal thing. And then they went to Guardians 2. Yeah. And I'm not going to say anything more than that. And I thought, well, I was just like, no, I don't think he would give her cancer. That was a weird theory. Yeah, that was um, a pretty spiteful one. Yeah, I was like, really? The other then, thing being, I think don't think he knew until at some point recently even yeah it hasn't been that long that he's known yeah, at least that's what it's implied i think so yeah um but let's see there's that theory there is also the um a theory that he wasn't actually odin's son was the truth right like, he wasn't okay right which it's like whatever that, i mean he wouldn't be able to wield mjolnir if he wasn't i mean theoretically although Jane have Foster you seen can, many but... have you knew it have you seen any of the new war thor stuff it's all in the Mighty Thor. I'm telling you, man, I'm not reading oh, Marvel man. right now. I'm just There's on so strike. so much good stuff. <laughs> so much good stuff. Hi, Susie! Susie! Hey! Susie. Hey, 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 hey. Our patrons. By the way, we will take a little bit of time here to thank our patrons real quick. Susie, I'm so glad you're here. You are our only patron here tonight. But thank you for coming out. 
Thank you to you, Susie, especially uh, Cy, especially, and Tyler Lockwood, especially, for donating to our awesome cause here. Thank I you. Mean, thank you so much for driving the show and keeping it going and really driving all the people here, even. You guys have been awesome. Hey, Susie. And, 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 so, and same with you, Izzy, and everyone else watching. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Yep. Feel free to jump in the combo at any point. And Izzy says there's so much good stuff you're missing, Leo. And there is... Two, and to be fair, Secret Empire is so close to that. Sorry, I think they guys, got one just... more chapter. One more chapter of Secret Empire, Leo, I think. And then it's done forever. Once it's done, maybe I'll jump right back also, on. Also, you, you can hop on the generation stuff. That stuff is totally is disconnected. Good? good enough. See, that's the problem. I'm just going to wait, gentlemen, until there's like some really mind-blowing stuff. Going to 10, actually? Really? No! You thought it was over, didn't you? It was setting up like it was over. Oh, thanks, Susie. I love Star Wars. I mean, as we were talking earlier, Obi-Wan, movie reported. No confirmed yet. No confirmed, reported. though. So, you know, just like the way of Gambit in the Han Solo Solo, which is actually coming. <sighs> Apparently, like, Gambit is reported to just be in production hell, but I Channing Tatum is still, hell. like... Really, like, it, I just love it. Really lobbying for I it. I just love someone did a meme of it. It's like yes, Gremlins three. Excuse oh me. Oh my god, man. Yes, I can't believe they're doing it after so dang long. I'm down. <laughs> I'm, I'm down for it. I just I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with new CGI stuff. Yeah, we'll have to see how the designs look. What's up, Andrew? Hi, Andrew. Dude, thank you so much. By the way, shout out to you for hey, gifting me thank Fortnite. You, Susie. Thank you. I know. Oh, yep, Spider-Man. Yay, appreciate it. Oh, man, but the Defenders, man, I mean, they have a new comic book out, too, coming with Marvel, and the Punisher's in it. It's funny as all hell. That's awesome. Is it this team, or is it a... Yes. Okay. So it's not the original Defenders team, which... I thought it was an original lineup, maybe. No, which, which I think... Different. I would love to see an original Defenders return, though, which was, what, a Namor, Silver Surfer, Doctor, Doctor Strange, Strange, and Hulk. Hulk. Yep. They get more people later, but that's the original lineup for the Defenders. Gremlins 3 is going to be bomb, I predict it now. I predict so, from yeah. the mouth of babes. Susie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, Defenders, I'm hoping that it will be the best one so far. Um, just like Justice League, Avengers, all the lead-up movies need to be the best. More if not, attention then. to Doom. More attention to Doom will be awesome. The thing is, Doom exists in the context of his enemies mm. a lot of the time. Even in his own stuff, he's like, uh, what's Doom doing? Oh, he's messing with Morgan Le Fay. Yeah, oh, he's messing with that. Mephisto. Oh, he's, he's messing with Beyonder. Like, he's like, always Doom picks doing fights. something with someone. Yeah, yeah, Doom's never, like, doesn't have his own thing. And now he does because of Infamous Iron Man, which I can't wait for the rest of those to come out. All right. Oh, we just had that one meme come out from the Infamous Iron Man? God, I was like, <laughs> it's like I miss, I, I would give anything to have Lord Doom back. Wait, what? The thing is just so surprised. Like, you really don't get it. <laughs> Doom was good to us. Doom loved us. Doom was great. Doom loved us. <laughs> they want Doom back. They do want Doom. Well, and they, they showed it earlier in the infamous Iron Man too. Like he comes back to get something and he sees like just like kids shooting guns in the streets and he comes and takes them and he's like Go go to school. They're like, Yep, what's what school? school? <laughs> and I was just like, Damn. Like, that's pretty sad. Oh yeah, Mikey too is uh Mikey's yeah. going to a con at some point he wants to dress as God Doom. Oh. Which is an awesome costume. Yeah, you need to send a picture real we'll Yeah, post if you get that. that, I would jeez, I'll print that. <laughs> you get a good Hang one. it up. Because God Doom a poster. is is not only hard to do. It's well, it's basically hard to do a regular Doom costume just because of his all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't I actually haven't seen a good one. I've seen all right ones, but a really good one. And that's what I'm saying. I've seen some of them, but I haven't seen like a great one. No, and then to do a God Doom on top of that would be even harder. It was like white. forever since I have been here, LOL. A month now? What have I missed? Oh, man. Defenders. There's been a lot this month. We did a fall catch up. Which and then was we, really good. Yeah, and then we took some couple week breaks. I mean, there are just things that come up, but we, we've had some. Great content. I saw a as well. good Doom a few years ago at DCC. Really wow. awesome! If you ever, if you have a picture, you should uh, send it. Please, because I I've been going to DCC for forever and I still haven't seen one. 
Yeah. Honestly, I didn't even really like the movie depictions of Doom so far in either of them. The original one was that's okay. A, that's a cause for just, an eye roll, man, because that yeah. was terrible. Halloween costume plans, none currently, but I need to do my giant sock puppet. I'm definitely doing Godzilla. That was still my idea. I'm still <laughs> doing Godzilla. He's got I'm the Godzilla go costume. Either that, or I'm going to do some kind of Game of Thrones. Maybe I'll be like a, a guy of the Night's Watch or something like that, or... I'll try something else since Game of Thrones has a uh, a guide to make the the capes for the for Jon Snow nice. and for the Night's Watch. I have watched I haven't watched any Game of Thrones episode seasons. Really, 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 really good. Every single episode is the best one so far. Every single one. I'm wearing my leader hosen. Okay. Did you see the no idea what that is? You know Sorry, leader hosen is. Nope. I don't want to tell you. Did you see the Godzilla anime trailer? Yes, and it looks pretty cool. I think the art style is a little crazy yes. for okay, me. Yes, okay, I remember that little teaser. But it, it is pretty cool, and I like the idea, and I can't wait to see what they do. What's um, up, Jamie? Dude, Jamie! good to see you, man. Welcome to everyone who's here. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good to see you. Hey, hi. How's it going? But yeah, I mean, going back to Game of Thrones, just a tad bit. It's really good. Please, watch the season. I mean... I know it's every single season, but every season just gets better and better. Hey. I'm waiting until it's done and then going to binge watch the whole season at once. That's a good idea. Fair, that's what I fair do. Fair choice. That's what I do with The Walking Dead. The reason why I keep up with it every week is because I do have a show that I do on Sundays with that is Game of Thrones themed, um, and also just because Game of Thrones is awesome. I've read some of the books. Um, really enjoy the show. Both lores are just super fantastic, um, especially. Especially the books. Um, some of the things that happen in the books are huh, beyond comprehensible. Like some of the, some of the features and some of the like. There's ice dragons in the book, and oh man, Susan yeah. You see, you know, books are, yeah, they are. That's awesome. And uh, on a side note of other things that released uh, recently, Rick and Morty. Oh, it just man. hit episode four. Episode four, and I have not watched a single episode, oh, guys. What is man. wrong with me? Now you see, you saw the premiere. Yes, I saw the first one, and I seen the second. Okay, so I I've, I've seen You're two episodes. Yeah, I'm halfway. There. Episode two is a little bit lackluster in my opinion. Definitely, I was like, eh, but it's like, episode it was, two. It is, and Rick and Moore was known epic. One was epic. Three is pretty good, man. Really? You've got to see Pickle Rick. Oh man, I've been seeing Pickle, the memes. Pickle, wait, so Mikey, excited. Mikey, Pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> You're halfway there, lol. Yeah, halfway there. Living on. <laughs> I can't help myself. Uh, no, dude, I hear. You. Uh, and then this last week was basically, uh, and it doesn't ruin, but it's like a troll on classic superhero tropes. That's awesome. It is. Super oh, I can't awesome. wait. Then I'm definitely gonna just watch both of them tonight. Yeah, Get definitely, through. dude. They're quick. You know, yeah, twenty like something 20, minutes. Twenty five minutes. And yeah, Susie knows what I'm saying. Yeah, Susie, have you caught up? The Vindicator. <laughs> I'm That's, so excited. Oh, it's pretty great. Oh it's man, pretty, I love it's, Rick and Morty. And it's, the one thing I will say is the la those two episodes, as opposed to the first two episodes, are really cl more classic Rick and Morty in the sense that they are deeper than your average comic book uh, anime or not comic book, your average animated series of any kind. I mean, there's a lot of animated oh yeah. I mean, this is just the Rick most outstanding on one that I've well. They, and the thing seen, is, they just period. hit on concepts that other shows are. A, either too afraid to, or B, just not be just in a position not. to talk about. Yeah, I know what a leader hosing is. I, I was gonna, I told you. Halloween. You oh, on Halloween, gotcha. Why is Kevin wearing his leader <laughs> Why not? Yeah! Sorry, that was, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> we probably oh, shouldn't do that stuff. Ha, ha, gotcha. I'm sad. I'm sad I didn't catch the comic of Rick and Morty. I need to catch more. Yeah, like, that was cool when we saw it in the comic shop. Yeah, that, I really want to get a couple. Did you read them? Yeah, there's a couple I've read. But they're nice. all different Rick and Morty. They're not, like, continuous. Cool. Like, I mean, well, that's, how the, I mean that's, that's how the show is. The, that, that was terrible. <laughs> 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 we know. We know. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> No, okay, okay. no, I'm done. <laughs> That's it. That's gotta, it for that I have one. to hang my head in mock shame. <laughs> da, da, da. No, I, uh, I think it's a school I only ball. dance That's for awesome, ones. That's... <laughs> I only dance for Benji's. You guys are like you rock, Susie. 
Shoot. Oh, man. Uh, By the way, I mean, we had so much happen this year. Like, we had Spider Man. And so Homecoming. much left to come. Wonder Woman. We've been through a lot this year, man. And Wonder Woman just opened the floodgates for I, good We gotta this see. Year. I mean, it, it's, this whole year's been good. Like, I can't think of one comic book movie, not specifically like anime. We've had Ghost in the Shell this year not do so well. Resident Evil was man. Yeah, so so. But when we when we stack up the comic book movies, we've got Logan. Let's see what kind of role will Doctor Strange play in Ragnarok. That is gonna be great. I don't think to he's gonna. To be determined. Don't think he's gonna play. Uh, that role. he. I I thought there was a piece of him in a trailer. I don't know speculation. Right. We, we, okay. You know what? And we did the. But the thing is, we through. we didn't know who that could be. Anybody. So it could. It could be somebody we, on his is, squad. Well, yeah. It, like there, the other thoughts though are either Loki, Beta Ray. Yeah. And that's what I was saying. Yeah, like, Loki the people has teamed co- up yeah. with. That, uh, that it is team. Is he, Kate. is he on the team though? Doctor Strange? No, he wasn't. I don't think. That. I don't it think was he's Hulk, going to be on Loki. There, yeah. uh, the girl. I think it's um, going to be an Infinity Wars thing. Or yeah, he's in there. Look, I seen a better trailer of it. Oh, so that is him. Okay, I wonder. I mean, he might come in and assist. For the bigger picture that's to Maybe come? Maybe a small appearance? Maybe. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, like wait. Talking quick. about other movie. Yeah, other movie. Not the movie for the... um. Talking about Ragnarok. Yeah, we're talking Thor about Ragnarok, Ragnarok not Infinity Wars. Because we know he's going to be in Infinity Wars, for sure. Yeah. I mean, There's he's tons been discussed of in the trailer. Yep. Uh, but we, we really... In Ragnarok... I think it's gonna be a Thor Hulk movie, like it really should be. Because they I have wanna see been around other... for Civil War. We they need a team up. The only thing I will say about this is, if they don't give me goddamn Beta Ray Bill, I'm gonna flip a goddamn table. <laughs> we'll have to see, man. I mean, I'm gonna have to flip I... a table. Is what's gonna. <laughs> I don't We're know. Hella make... is. Uh, there's there's a lot of especially with the Hela splitting of right Mjolnir. Now. Yeah, we'll have to see, man. I, I and don't they're know in the slave in. pits, and they got they got a lot. Of... The only It'll other thing that can come in. off of this that would be great is if it does well, they may do, they might do a Hulk thing, especially with the introduction <sighs> of the character. And the character looked pretty nice. And we need the, like think of the character. They this is the most developed first Hulk few seconds seen. of this trailer. Okay, so he does pop up in a late trailer. Wait, wait, wait. Let's which, check it which out. trailer. I I, can't, I don't have it yet, man. I I would you know, just wait until it gets here. Yeah. All you get is the beta statue in the trailer. Hmm? Oh, the Beta Ray Bill. There's a statue oh. of Beta Ray Bill in the trailer. Well, then he might appear. N- n- maybe, but th- it also For has some like, reason. Julian, theme. your comment is not popping up. It yeah, it shows up on the phone, but not on yeah. For some re- for whatever reason. So we'll have to we'll have to wait until it comes through or or watch it after. We'll yep. definitely let you know, but I would we'll, love we'll, to watch it. But uh, what he's talking about is on one of the buildings as you go through. There's a depiction of a couple like statues carved into the wall of like Beta Ray Bill man thing what and I'm wondering if that might just be it. Oh, was it swamp thing I'm wondering if that might thing. be like his only really appearance in Easter what do you age? guys think about that picture of RDJ Cumberpatch and Ruffalo where RDJ shirt has a hole in it where an arc reactor would be I mean maybe he has to get his arc reactor back but I my my bigger guess is that he had like Iron Man armor on at one point and blasted this shirt man thing gotcha I always get confused because I've been reading so much DC lately. Yeah, and Swamp Thing and Man Thing are so freaking similar. Yeah, but uh, not popping up, Julian. We'll check here's it out another after. real question. What did you, we didn't talk about this? What is your opinion of the depiction of the Hulk so far in that Ragnarok trailer? Oh man, it, I think the Hulk looks awesome. So I saw the um, DCC trailer and it went a little bit more into detail. Showed him kind of working with Thor and stuff, and I was excited. You know, I want to see Thor and Hulk team up because we have. Uh, Iron Man and Captain America and Civil War, like we have them so 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 much, and we've seen so much of them. The Captain America movies have been the most popular Marvel of the single movies, I would say. Them and the Iron Man, so it's like, okay, where does that leave Thor and Hulk? Thor's first two movies were okay at best. I mean, the first one is is rewatchable. The second one. Kind of a mess. Uh, yeah, you you don't really watch the second one. Yeah, and then you get down to to this one, and it looks fantastic. So I'm hoping that it has the same effect. Although on Hulk. Uh, they have confirmed though that the Hulk movie is part of the MCU. It they is confirmed it as yeah. that Hulk of because they have a comic currently coming out called Ragnarok Prelude, and it's basically a comic version of that movie. 
of the whole. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like what? So then, would it officially be worked into the universe at that point? It is. It is. It is worked uh, into the universe at the start of that movie. Because he does get sent. I mean, he does leave. Yep. Goes. I thought it, but I thought that's where Avengers picked up. Because he was on that island. No, which one are you talking about now? I'm talking about the original talking about the, Hulk movie. Not the original original, but the Hulk movie where at the end... Uh, not the Incredible Hulk. No, just Hulk, I believe. No, no, the no. 2000? What's the, no, not the 2000. The 2002 or 2000? That's what I was... That's yeah. what I'm implying. That one, at the end of that one, he escapes into... What's wherever. up, Tyler? What's up, my man? Hey, Tyler. Went and saw Dark, you... Dark Tower. It was terrible. Oh, that sucks. I really wanted it to be good. What <sighs> new good. movies have you guys watched lately? I haven't really watched anything too much lately because I've been catching bad. up. Unfortunate. <laughs> uh, what about Elba? Saw... How was Elba in it, though? He was the best part of the movie. Dark Tower comic is pretty good. I gotta go check that out more. I would really just want to go read the books because the books are outstanding. Let's see. Like, the books... Valerian. Not good. That's the thing. Most there hasn't been anything coming out recently, and we've talked about it. Even the things that have been coming out haven't really been worth talking about. Ooh, I will say I did see recently, way way late, Dunkirk. Wow, that we did talk about that one a couple Amazing. weeks ago. Though I know Chris, I hadn't yeah. seen it yet. True, we've only seen that before. We'd only seen that uh, seven minute cinematic, right? Which I'm sure is nothing compared to the full movie. You know, that movie I mean? is so 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 good. It it it's is coming. In September. Can't wait. Yes. Uh, we're also. Did you get? Did you see the new Inhuman trailer? Did you see the new Inhuman yep, trailer? I did. Oh, yeah, man. I know exactly what you're so talking good. about. So good. They're finally the showing where Maximus like, stuff. And, yeah, and they were like, you know, you're just a human at the very end. Oh yeah, and the song. Mm-hmm. I'm only. And that's so perfect for you know. But they September make such, first. Yeah, it's coming very quickly. It's like I said, we're gonna get Defenders. You'll be able to watch Defenders probably maybe take you a couple days, but you can binge watch Defenders again and again until that comes out easily. As well as getting the other shows, if you need to catch up, you can watch Cage and Daredevil. And yeah, I mean, you have plenty of content to go through. Uh, and then, I believe, not too long after that, in October, I believe, Punisher comes out. So We've got a lot coming out. I mean, even, you know, we got stuff at the beginning of September in the middle. Things are just pumping through, guys. It's going Hulk crazy. Hulk and Thor couldn't get two characters of personality so different, but to see them together would be awesome. Hey, boys. Hi, Felicia. Hey, Felicia. Thanks for joining up. I really want Inhumans to be good. I do, too. Same. I do like that they were showing uh, Black Bolt is a little more powerful in this one. They actually showed him, like, blow some stuff away. Yeah, and like, he, like, and yes. he started opening his mouth, and they're like, get him actually, out of here now, do, now, now, now. You know, I haven't seen that enough. Can we do a reaction video yeah, to that? Yeah, let's, let's just do it real quick. I'll pull... Do you want to pull it or you want me to? I'll pull it up real quick. Okay. Do a little reaction to the newest trailer, guys. Oh, it's, it's just too good, guys. Like... Yeah, I do too. The costumes are the only things that worry me, but eh, everything else looks the thing to is, pan the out. Whole the whole cinematography seems a little shaky. It just seems yeah, rushed just, to me, like they didn't finalize. You know what I mean? Yeah, it just doesn't feel as crisp. Yes, like, it's missing just, that crisp cleanness of like editing or something. Something's not right. <laughs> Something's not right. <laughs> Ignore that. Shit <laughs> Ignore. Let's see. Oh here. man, Mute but the, yeah, I can't wait for mm -hmm. Inhumans. Can't wait for Defenders tomorrow. Really, they drop usually around midnight or like <laughs> two or something. Usually, it's two in the morning. Unfortunately, I won't be able to stay up and watch it. Not wait till after work, but I'm gonna binge the shit out of it Friday. <laughs> you and me both. Oh man, this song though, guys. I'm looking for you. What are we? What if I told you there's a place where people have powers like us? The city of Adelaide. And I can take you there. We're in humans. Love the song, too. Oh, yeah. You picked the real good cinematics. Maybe I'm foolish. Maybe I'm blind. Thinking I can see through this. See what's behind. Brother, sooner or later, the humans are going to find us. Got no way to prove it, so maybe I'm lying. The first course of action will be to try to destroy us. Run! I'm only human after all. We need to go to Earth now. We need to strike first. It would only lead to war. Are you speaking for yourself or for our king? Take over Adelan. Are you going to 
Lord, he killed your only brother. Fantastic. It actually doesn't look that but bad. I was watching on the phone earlier. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't look too bad at all. Like, I was looking at the scenes. It's like the budget is decent. The, the, the set and looks uh, The most important part is the effects look crisp. Yeah, they do. The, especially the costumes the dog. and the sets and stuff look, you know, acceptable. But the effects, the dog, the, the powers... And that's what's a lot of importance. Like, mm -hmm. for example, Legion was like a 99% boring looking show, except when shit went down. Yeah, in the last uh, couple episodes. It is ABC, ABC though. though. They, LOL, they're not Chris. You guys are zoned. Oh, zoned. man. <laughs> the crisp. Crisp. But, oh, man, the Inhumans. Too much, man. Like, I, I can't wait for it. And that song is just so really, you know. Oh, it's I'm like the human. perfect dose, right? It's like, uh. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. It's got, like, that kind of foreboding tone. You know what I mean? You know, and it, and it gives them a relatable song. Like, oh, it's yeah. like, yeah, you know, we're we just, we're humans too. We're, we're different versions of humans. Yeah, we we're are, just... we're, we're. Heart, we're not gonna harm you guys. Uh, yeah. Only Maximus. But... Think Gifted will be okay. I haven't seen enough to suggest that it will. Yeah, you know, we only seen that trailer. Yeah, and it's, it's so short and so not like much going there's on. not a lot of details. I don't know who, what story they're going on. Do they have an original story? I think it is, but it looks original to me. It does. I can't wait for the X Men stuff more more importantly. We've also talked about I think the new mutants thing with Squirrel Girl and others. <sighs> which I think they also talked about her not being a mutant actually, so I don't know. She's actually a mutant. Although Axel. it wasn't, it wasn't a new mutant. It was new warriors. Gotcha. Sorry. Uh, I'm just like, stop, Axel. You're making it worse. Oh, just <laughs> talking about it makes it feel so bad. Look, like, we'll see. Maybe they won't have her too much in the spotlight. I really hope. Burn it out, squirrel. Girl. No, okay. Um, <laughs> I really hope they come out with that new mutants movie. Oh man, I really Same. yeah. That is the other thing I'm hoping for the new gene. But they need to get Jean Grey straight. Like, they're doing too much craziness, especially, like, they did the Jean Grey Generations thing, and I won't spoil anything, but... I mean, they're working on stuff for her as we speak. Uh, the movie. The movie, like I said, I'm hoping it'll be okay. Hopefully so. Because they can she, her, descri her and honestly, her depiction is one of the better things about Age of Apocalypse. Definitely. In my opinion, as well as the rest of the movies in that series. Late, I mean, they, the they do a good girl, job. that potato, um, Sophie Turner, really good actress. Um, great portrayal of a young Jean Grey. The, I thought it was the other really thing, fantastic. The other thing that I care about more than that, Deadpool 2. When's that coming? I know that unfortunate death is a stunt woman, and that's the sadness. But we... At the same time, I'm looking forward to oh, the yeah. hard work put and into it. It picks right things. back up. I mean, you know, you take the day and then. Unfortunate. Oh. And then, like I said, not to diminish it, but like I said, no. I am interested in when Deadpool 2 is looking to appear because now it's back in everybody at the forefront of everybody's mind. Exactly. And, you know, that's. It's a big thing now. Like, Deadpool is huge, 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 huge. huge. I mean, it's it's like a cultural thing now. Jeez. Yeah, like everybody knows this. Everybody those. knows it. it it's like Spider-Man was at one time, almost. It definitely reminds you of that. Huh? It's got that Spider-Man vibe when in the early 2000s when it came out. People were just buying all kinds of Spider-Man stuff. And I think it's just that working of the merch and the character work really well in the kind of society we're in now. And, and we're really, you know, at the best time for it to be received. Then, like, we have the best Deadpool we could ask for with Ryan Reynolds. And thank God he took direction from them a little bit because that initial Deadpool in Wolverine or whatever was horrible. The X Men Origins was awful. The thing is, the, the depiction of Wade is good in that. Agree. But and when they made him Deadpool, they just turned him into this whole different monster. Character. Yeah, and it was terrible. <laughs> And it was, just wasn't a very good thing. It really ruined that first movie. Where in what was otherwise, his personality as Deadpool was just <sighs> shit. As Deadpool, he was done. As Wade, he was fine. Once you got him after that, it was done. He, it was not worth having. His, oh man. And what else are we looking forward to that's coming up? Do you guys have anything that you are looking forward to specifically we might not have mentioned yet? Yeah. We're always on the lookout for new stuff. I mean, we, I've been, I have a ton of new comics I've been reading. I can tell you about this. 
Batman, Superman, Flash, blah, 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 blah. I Wonder find Man. it funny kind of that all the nerdy stuff we love, people found us weird, and now everyone indulges in our nerd. Yeah, and that might even be a discussion for an entire episode. Yeah, the how nerd like, culture how has become pop culture. has moved in to be kind of like the main front lines of a lot of popular culture. Very much so. I mean, I mean people know about Deadpool, the latest movies now. Like, people are on the pulse. Yeah, I think that's really where the the run has come from is that cinematic expression on a legitimate scale has made it an adult enterprise. Exactly. Whereas before, animation was the only place you could get a realistic expression of any kind. Mm -hmm. And it was for kids. You know, it's, yeah, it was meant for younger children. Even when you do an adult cartoon, it's seen as kiddish and very non-real. Juvenile. You know? Yes, even the the super adult ones like you know, Rick and Morty, etc., you know, they're just seen as more Still kiddish. seen as kiddish. I mean, there are Rick and Morty toys in shops. In the toy, the yeah, kids section. Yeah, which is just like... <laughs> right. But hey, you know what? We are getting a little bit close to our call time here. Nine o'clock is usually when we gotta get back to our our world, if you will. Um, Unfortunately. This was a little bit of a shorter episode just because we've been you know, dealing with schedule stuff and also we have, you know, busy fall schedules. Just man, like yeah, so everybody much else. coming up. Yeah, oh, we man. just got a lot coming up, guys. But we will definitely keep you guys on the pulse of the latest in the Geekverse. So please, keep on coming back to the episodes. We will keep as consistent as possible. For now, let's just say look forward to us definitely every other week. And then we're going to try to be every week, guys. So can, speaking of Rick and Morty, have you guys seen the Japanese version flying around Facebook? Yes, it's terrible. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to check yeah, that out. Check it out. It's, Please link it, me. It's it's funny. Right on. But anyway, guys, Leo Rydell. Axel Grave. And this is Comic Convos. We will see y'all next week. Catch you next week, guys. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.